Clive stands for Coastal Impacts Visualization Environment. It's an interactive tool that brings together climate change, uh, coastal erosion, storm surges, um, into a visualization environment. Uh, you can use a game controller that allows you to fly over the island and then using the controller raise and lower sea level rise or you can um, click on some buttons to see what uh, the coast was like in 1968 or in 2010 and also look at under future rates of coastal erosion what the coasts might look like uh, 30 years from now, 60 years from now and 90 years from now. For research purposes it's really helpful to us because we can look at different conditions uh, under which the island is, is, uh, could be vulnerable. Uh, we can look directly at the impacts of climate change. And like we've done using this tool, is we can quantify what that risk and vulnerability of coastal infrastructure is to, uh, to sea level rise. What it's shown us is that um, in, in net terms, overall terms, that the island has shrunk. So overall, the island has shrunk by 20 square kilometer. That's almost 5,000 acres. That's about half the size of Charlottetown. PEI is particularly vulnerable to um, sea level rise and coastal erosion because it's made out of sand and sandstone. It's also susceptible because it's an island and the sea levels are rising. It's anticipated uh, that the sea levels will rise one meter over the next hundred years. But what our research shows us is that as we move into the future that there are at least a thousand residential homes that are vulnerable to coastal erosion. Um, and there's uh, 17 lighthouses that we are going to have to move in the immediate future because they're under threat from coastal erosion. Um, and that there's quite a large number of kilometers of roads that we're going to have to shift further inland.